This is Brad Morton with Morton Design Group. This is the Kent residence in Costa Mesa. Michelle and Nigel, this is my phase one um, attempt at the backyard. And so what I'll be showing you is two different versions of the project. One with uh, the final uh, vision and one with the phase one vision, which is this current uh, vision here. So in this view, uh, you'll see the existing shape of the pool here. I am showing a proposed uh, gunite spa right here, seven and a half by seven and a half feet, uh, with an extended decking area back here, and you'll see how that meshes together with phase two when I show you that part of the video. But uh, for now, we have an extended space back here. Uh, this is raised up six inches, and um, you'll see here in a moment as we spin down a little bit the uh, the way this kind of fits together. Uh, so taking in mind, uh, taking uh, into account the future pop out of this uh, family room here, eight feet, and then this structure uh, about 20 feet, you'll see in the second uh, model again how that kind of works. But in this version, we have a, a travertine Versailles pattern decking with some stepping stones to bring the grass up to the pool to make it feel a little bit more expansive and to break up the hardscape a little bit. Uh, we have, a, again, a spa that's up here raised up uh, 12 inches from the pool. That'll provide us with uh, two nice spillways into the pool. Uh, currently, this is the edge of the existing uh, house, and uh, we have some storage and stuff back here currently. Uh, pool equipment, etc. That would remain until you guys did the uh, pop out on the house. Uh, but again, we have uh, just some auxiliary decking out here for a couple chases. We have a main uh, area out here that we're building up for future patio cover and fireplace that I'll show you in phase two. Um, pool would get a new uh, Pebble Tech surface and a new uh, 16, I'm sorry, 18 inch wide coping all the way around. Uh, kind of going with that clean, tropical feel, uh, just clean line and uh, just a, a very clean, crisp look with the travertine. Um, kind of more of a, a modern tropical, if you will. So as we close in here a little. Uh, for cost reasons, I have left this current area grass. Now that could be synthetic putting green if you guys are into that. It could be travertine if you're willing to blow it out later, uh, depending on how long into the future this addition is going to come. Uh, but for right now, I'm uh, just showing it as grass, and uh, that'll soften up this area. It gives us still plenty of room for tables and chaise lounges and things like that, especially with the new uh, the new area back uh, by the spa. So. Um, this is uh, a view back out onto the pool. A couple queen palms or large statement palms and these planters adjacent to the pool would give it more of that resort feel. I thought that would be kind of cool. And um, uh, let's see, this is a view from the left side of the yard uh, looking out onto the uh, spa on the pool. Again, the idea is to leave this large grass area as is to uh, create kind of a uh, tropical forest behind this living space. and. Um, uh, still kind of maintain that open feel, but try to balance and counterpoint this uh, current living area with a, a balanced area over here, uh, all kind of built around the uh, the new spa area where you'll be spending a lot of time. So that's the uh, first video uh, for phase one. And as soon as you see phase two, you'll see how this all articulates with phase two. And uh, that'll make a lot more sense to you. So uh, in the next video here, I'll show you phase two. Okay, this is phase two, and in this design, uh, what you will see here is the future bump out of the family room. This is an eight foot extension. Uh, what you're looking at is the top view of the eave, so the total gross extension is eight feet. This is the uh, future uh, extension of the master bedroom area. And this is a patio cover. In this design, I'm showing it open beam. I felt that the solid cover was just a little too heavy. So I kind of uh, am going with an open beam feel here, kind of an architectural element, not too closed in. Uh, this could have some cloth or curtain uh, elements if we wanted to. Uh, we could do um, beams that run in a direction where we could just have some canvas bays in between. It kind of gives it a softer feel. Uh, but the solid wasn't uh, working for me uh, aesthetically, although we could do it, uh, it just felt better this way. So, And then on the end of this uh, deck here, we have the uh, 
fireplace that I'm proposing. So as we get down into this model here, uh, you kind of get for how this starts to come together. And if you'll notice, all the hardscape elements that were in the phase one video are still here, uh, with the exception of, um, well, for instance, this pop out here uh, is eating into that grass area that's in the phase one video. So. Uh, things like the patio cover the fireplace are elements that get clad on. We also have a barbecue here that I'm proposing, kind of the center entertainment zone, and here uh, under the eaves, um, kind of up against the house where it's close to the kitchen, and you could hang out and uh, uh, have some family time in this area. And then this area out here is kind of more of an outdoor living space that you would come retreat out to and have some great views back onto the uh, the house. So. Again, here is the extension of the uh, Future Master. Again, there we would have a storage element, uh, pool equipment element back here. All of this is in the current design. These pads here would be new. Uh, and they don't have to be quite so large. They could be smaller. They could be concrete stepping stones. They don't have to be expensive travertine, but this is basically the idea. Everything in the Phase 1 design stays the same, and we're just adding some things onto it in the two. Um, so anyway, another view back, you can see here the uh, extension of the house and uh, again this kind of this outdoor uh, kitchen feel here and uh, we could come up with a little uh, beam for this thing if we thought it was necessary uh, but because it's kind of tucked away and it's in the evening, afternoon, evening, it won't really be in the sun, I didn't think it would be necessary. Uh, but again, just wanted to uh, reiterate that all of the hardscape stays the same. There's no changes there. In the phase one, there's a planter here with a, uh, a fountain in phase two. If you guys decide to do this barbecue and do it in this location, uh, the planter simply gets removed. This goes in uh, in the same exact footprint. So you're basically just filling in the balance with some travertine and you're pouring your footings for your barbecues and, and working this element in. Then you could do a nice little LCD TV or plasma on the wall. It'd be kind of fun. A uh, little yeah, area to come out and watch a game or hang out. So uh, this is kind of the view back out onto the outdoor living space out here. Again, it gives you a reason to kind of go out into the yard a little bit more. We have some neat visuals here. We've got a reason to hang out around the spa. Uh, we've got some great transitions uh, up to these uh, sunning areas that are in different locations depending on the time of day or where you want to sit. And... Um, that's just kind of the feel there. So got some black rock around some of these things to again soften it up. Uh, there will be a lot of water transfer, you know, through here. So this rock could uh, cover some of the drains and stuff that would be in this area. Uh, but it gives it more of that resort feel and uh, softens up the, uh, the hardscape, which is nice. Uh, so this is a view back out onto the uh, spa area. Again, this is raised up. Uh, six inches from zero and then six inches from this deck. So this is 12 inches above the pool. Gives you a good 12 inch spillway uh, on the two corners here. You could do tile, travertine or whatever. Uh, just a view of the fireplace area. Just again, kind of clean line. This could be front venting gas fireplace. Uh, could be gas and, um, and uh, wood burning. Uh, just depends on budget and all of that stuff and what you guys want to do. I've got some bench seating around here that allows for... Uh, additional uh, entertaining space places to sit you could throw some pillows on there to soften that up I uh, could do a little niche here in the TV area so we could uh, recess a little TV back in there again if that's important to you guys and you're into that and then uh, again the outdoor furniture would look great uh, seated um, in that area so uh, final view kind of back onto the house give you a feel for what you'd be looking at so that is my first pass at the uh, outdoor design uh, interested in your comments and uh, thank you for your patience. Look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.